Walter was the first man from, from Norwich who had his name drawn in the draft in Washington, D.C. So he was the first name drawn, the first one to get accepted after having his physical, the first one sent overseas, and the first one wounded overseas. He saw the worst really fast. And what happened was that uh, a German flash bomb went off about two feet away from him. And in the process of that, uh, he was burnt from his waist to his toes. It dented his helmet. He got shrapnel in two places in his left leg, I believe it was. Uh, it blew the tails off his overcoat, he said. <laughs> so he said it was amazing that he survived it at all. But there were other men from Norwich who were in his troop. So um, as a result, one of them, Irving Bogue, was the one who helped take him on the, um, the gurney to the closest first aid station. The next day, Irving Bogue goes back to check on his friend. And he asked at the first aid station, and they said, I'm sorry, he didn't make it. He's over there. And they pointed to where these body bags were. And he went straight over, and he pulls back the, the top of the cloth, and Walter's still breathing. <laughs> I mean, he had lost a huge amount of blood, but he was still breathing. And with all that's going on on the battlefield, he didn't need to come back the next day to check on him. So they rushed him to another actual hospital unit. There was a picture of him in the hospital, and he is the center person in the doorway there. And Walter was my grandfather, James Moran's oldest brother. After my grandfather passed away, and we were going through things, this little scrapbook was in one of his drawers. And I'm starting to go through it. And I said, oh my gosh, this was his oldest brother, Walter. So from this I found out that you know he'd been in the war. Then I started asking questions of my dad, who remembered a lot of the things. But the time when I would see Uncle Walter, I never knew he'd been in the war. I never even gave it a thought. <laughs> But it was just a, an amazing thing, and uh, the stories that don't get told.